Police President Joe Biden's preparing to retaliate after that deadly drone attack that killed three U.S. service members in Jordan. Biden said he's decided how he plans to respond. ABC's Rena Roy explains. A counterattack expected at any time from the U.S. in response to the drone strike that killed three U.S. service members and injured more than 40 others in Jordan last weekend. A senior official telling ABC News that the operation will last several days and hit multiple deliberate targets, most of them inside Syria, including facilities that enabled the initial attack. Though the president holds Iran responsible for supplying weapons for the militants, another official says he's unlikely to order any strikes inside Iran over concern it could expand the conflict. I don't think we need a wider war in the Middle East. That's not what I'm looking for. U.S. bases have seen more than 160 attacks attacks in the region since Israel's war with Hamas broke out in October. And since November, there have been nearly 40 attacks on ships in the Red Sea by Yemen's Iranian-backed Houthi rebels. We have called on the Iranian proxy groups to stop their attacks. Uh, they have not. Uh, and so uh, we will respond in a time and manner of our choosing. 23-year-old Sergeant Brianna Moffitt lost her life in the drone attack. Her mother, Francine, opening up to ABC's Faith Abube about the moment two members of the military broke the tragic news to the family. He looked at me and he said, I'm sorry, Ms. Moffitt, but Brianna was killed this morning in a drone attack. And I'm like, my baby, my baby. The families of the three soldiers killed in the attack will be at Dover Air Force Base Friday when the bodies of their loved ones return to U.S. soil. President Biden will also be there. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.